Welcome back everybody. I'm here with some more Digimon Rearise and today I got a uh, some PvP matches for you guys. Uh today is Calm Week. Uh last week we had the Brave Boost, now we got the Calm Boost. But as you guys can see, this is the team I'm gonna go in. Um I just got Magnetramon as you know the video I uploaded earlier. But you know, I'm excited to try it out. Um I have a feeling that people are gonna test out all fours, you know, like back again. So we're good that we have that one. Um, it revives our Digimon and also gives us that tech boost, so, um, it works both ways because, um, uh, your opponent, um, Omegamon will probably knock down one of our Digimons. We don't have that much power defense and hopefully it's just one so we could revive and still get those 28 points. So I'm excited to use this. Um, as you guys can see, I'm using no calm, you know, like I feel like the calm Digimon right now are pretty fragile, um, and could die easily. And Omegamon tanks like three hits, so there's a problem with that. Um, and Gallantmon, right now he still keeps the boost, so he's tanky with himself. Not only that, he gives like 30% boost to your whole like Brave team. And we're going to literally go back with the same old, same old Omegamon main skill than Alphamon. But, you know, I'm kind of expecting to see a lot more Calm. Or I'm expecting to see all forest nukes, but I would just want to see if this survives it. Um, and I want I wanted to see if this survives it, obviously, because these are I'm voicing over. Um, but I didn't find anything early on. Maybe later on I'll see people use more stuff. But for the most part, I went against a lot of brave teams. Still, I feel like people are still using the teams they used last week just to kind of test out, see what people are using. I think that's what people are waiting for, and everybody's staying with the teams they're used to. Um, fortunately, this team did very good by itself. It's like an average team. Um, even though the healer right there, Magnadramon, he blocks tech, it still kind of worked. You know, like, if, if there's one situation where it helped me revive my Digimon, we still managed to get those 28 points, which is very good. Um... Like I said, even though Brave is not getting boosted this week, it's still a really strong type to have. Especially Gallantmon that like, gives that boost. Not only that, it also has its own boost. So, you know, that's good itself. Um, people, I see more Minerva Mons. I'm not sure if people are carrying on their Minerva Mons from before. Or they're choosing to go Minerva Mon just to, you know, decrease my defense. So, that's what I'm thinking. Um... It, it's always annoying going against Magnadramon because I always go use my Omegamon's main skill first. And then when he revives, like I feel like it's too many to hit, so I use his up skill. So later I can for sure hit on Omegamon with that skill lock. And right here I got lucky with that skill lock. Um, it doesn't matter that Magnadramon doesn't get skill lock because honestly its main use is to heal and revive. So after that, you know, it's just floating there. Just giving you that tech, you know, defense. I know it does stuff in its main skill, but you don't want to waste a turn using that. You want to, eat, you know, do as much damage as you can uh, at first. Um, let's go in. Let's see what the next match is. All right, let's see. Um, what can I say? Uh, Gallimon's still pretty strong, so if you guys have it, I still recommend using him. Uh, the thing with him is that if he's, like, low health, and yeah, and you do activate his main skill. He survives a long time unless an Omegamon hits it. Um, as you guys can see, even though I use the same combo, the Omegamon and Alphamon, it's still kind of unreliable because your opponent doesn't get skill locked. And, you know, that hurts. Right here, I was basing it all on chance, and I got so lucky I hit that Omegamon. But if it wasn't for that, you know. And then right here, I <laughs> the Magnadramon. You can see me. I'm just playing messy right there. I should just use a sub skill. You could see me clicking skills like crazy. But, you know, I did get lucky. And, you know, thanks to that revive, you know, I got the full team win, which is really good. Um, the main thing is, though, you got to be able to hit your opponents first. So, you know, kill one of them first. But it's it, so far this team, I, I like it. Uh, even if people start using more Calm Digimon, I still think I'm still going to use this team all throughout. Um, I'm glad I got Magna Digimon. Oh, well, so far, you know, just... A few matches that I've tested out, uh, the ones that you guys see in the video. Before this, I was using the War Greymon, just because you know I wanted to. I didn't have it, you know. As soon as I got it, I maxed it out and you know tried it out. I was excited to. Um, 
And as you guys can see right here, even if I kill it, even though if he manages to kill my Alpha Mon, I could have revived it. Um, I wasn't stressed out. It's it's a good feeling now that I could still get a full one team. Um, Grand Koagamon's pretty tanky. Omega Mon tanks what he tanks. Uh, when you activate your shield for Gallant Mon, it gives you all tanky. So your weakest links are literally Alpha Mon and Magna Dramon, So you gotta hope that they don't get hit. And here we're going against an uh, all force, and you can see how much damage it does. And yeah, it possibly could have knocked my Digimon out if I didn't have that tech resistance, you know, from Magna Dramon. So, you know, thankfully I did get her because that's where it goes low health. And you see, that's where, like, the shield that I was talking about really helps. Then I skill lock his Omega. I got lucky there. Uh, honestly, yeah, this would have been a really tough match without uh, skill locking Omega Mon because... If O4 is like manages to like do some crazy damage like that and then Omega Mon doesn't get skill locked, you're definitely not gonna get 28 points. So um, right here I'm just activating skills to see what kills what. And yeah, 28 points. Um so far, yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Um I'm not scared of Calm Week unless uh Digimon like what is his name? Dynasmon comes out or Paladin Mon Paladin Mode um Imperial Mon. Yeah, that's when I'll be scared. Like, you know, I gotta be do a whole switch up. But hopefully, then we'll be using them too, so we won't be that scared. Um, I wonder how the meta's gonna be once they're here, because it's too many strong Digimon. But so far, it feels pretty good. I'm not scared of no calm. I'm actually scared to use some calms because I know they tend to be very fragile, even with a 30% boost in defense. Uh, look how Omega Mon last week killed so many Digimon like in one shot. So. That's why I'm very, like, leery about using it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.